think I'm ready for this? Cześć, z tej strony Butcher. W szybciutkim, nietypowym wywiadzie jesteśmy w Sony Store w Centrum Handlowym Arcadia w Warszawie. I moim gościem jest Nate Fox, deweloper Infamous 2, które właśnie się tutaj dzieje. Porozmawiamy sobie o sequelu z jednym z producentów Sucker Punch. Hi Nate. Hello. If you can introduce yourself to our readers. Right. Uh, my name is Nate Fox. I'm the game director on Infamous 2. Game director, okay. So we have a very important person, right? <laughs> I take credit for everybody else's work. Okay. Uh, the new Marais, the new location for the Infamous 2, is based on uh, New Orleans. So we gave you big possibilities uh, in designing the new location. It, what, what was the, the possibilities you, you achieved with, with the New Orleans-based town? Well, in, in the United States, we have exactly one city with a excellent architecture and that's New Orleans. I know for everybody in Poland you're used to having really cool architecture. <laughs> Americans aren't. So we wanted to go to a city that gave uh, a lot of really really beautiful buildings for Cole to climb on because he can climb on everything. The world is this very yeah, open it. playground and uh, it seemed like an ideal ideal location for him given his powers. Also uh, it provided a lot of variety in the places that Cole could go you can go into this sort of like party space with uh, these beautiful wooden verandas, of course, which all break and crumble when Cole uses his attacks, as well as into these really dark swamps where it's really dangerous for Cole because he doesn't have electricity or, um, uh, you know, like above ground uh, crypts, like uh, necropolis, mm -hmm. which I've, I saw actually on the way here, which uh, <laughs> looked pretty, pretty cool. Where? Here? In yeah, Poland? yeah. On the way to this show, I saw this cool necropolis. That uh, we, there's one of those in Infamous too. There's a lot of different places you can go, and we wanted to make sure that the player got to experience a lot of different um, locales. And of course, that meant that you could play the game differently as Cole. Okay, you mentioned the the crumbling balconies and all the stuff. Uh, all the trailers you released so far uh, shows the great. The location destruction, the damage, how much, how much we can damage the the locations. Uh, what well, is, what what uh, what physics do you have in in the new game? Well, we we use our own engine to make Infamous mm -hmm. Two. And, is this uh, the same engine with the, from yeah, the first game? Yeah, yeah, we use the same engine from Infamous One to Infamous Two, but as you can tell by looking at at videos, it's better. Yeah, right. We hired a bunch Definitely. of smart computer engineers who. Uh, would focus on all the things that really matter, right? Like explosions. It works Destru hard to make destruction, destruction <laughs> right? Because destruction's cool. I mean, it yeah. makes you feel powerful. It makes enemies feel, feel powerful. And of course, it's always a trade-off because you want to have the world to splinter around you when you're using your powers, but also you don't want to have, uh, you know, everything fall down so that there's nothing to climb on and nowhere to take cover or nowhere sure. to get electricity to heal yourself. So it's kind of a balance. But we can do a big destruction, like big explosions, like, I don't know, if we can, can we level a building, for example? You cannot just, level a building, because otherwise you'd have a flat yeah, football but field. Not everything, but some of them. Uh, yes, some, some things can be, can be fully destroyed. Uh, we, have a, we have a demo going on today um, in a mission called Force Conduits, where Cole can go into these warehouses this is one of my favorite things to do is you, sometimes you might get trapped in there and you can just blast a hole you in know wall. in the wall and force your way out or you know take out the ceiling if any minis are above you to make them fall to their death
You said that you're gonna censor or filter the UGC missions. Uh, do you really? Do you have a how many how many people do you have in Sucker Punch that gonna be? Well, it's it's filtering a, and <laughs> censoring and just checking the missions. It's a, it is new it's a to our work. studio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, it, the thousands upon thousands, if not, you know. You see, million. you see the little big planet right yeah. now, it's four, above four million, four million missions. <laughs> it, uh, we do not kid ourselves, you know, we, players rate missions and players alert, you know, folks if the mission is something, you know, really questionable. Can, um, you, can you rate a mission? Someone's oh yes, mission? absolutely. Like with stars or something? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. So, you know, I'm sure that yours will be highly rated, <laughs> yes. Um, it, it's, it's a process that, frankly, we're going to have to learn as we go. Right now, mm -hmm. we're in a beta, and uh, you know, we have no illusions that people will find ways to break the system this way or that way, and we're just going to kind of evolve our process as we go. But uh, we've been fortunate enough to talk to the smart people at Media Molecule who have given us a lot of advice on the best way to do this, to create a strong community where people can get what they want and also make what they want. Okay. Many game developers are following the trends to include uh, some type, some type of uh, multiplayer, online multiplayer, online missions. You have a UGC, but some in some time in in the past you are looking for online developers. Do you plan some some kind of multiplayer online? And you're sharp. You looked at our yeah. job postings. <laughs> it was actually to help us figure out how to make our network to support UGC, UGC content. Okay. What uh, what type of filters do we have in the if I don't know if I could start the game and I have a UGC missions on the map mm -hmm. and can I filter? You won't show any filters. Oh, show any, oh, that's right. Can I can I choose to just one type of the missions like survival missions or search and destroy? Absolutely, that is totally the case. You maybe are interested in um, like a, a story mission where it's a lot about you know people talking about yeah. their feelings. Uh, Love. <laughs> yeah, or uh, combat, or like a race, or a mini game. So I can choose for the whole my game, for the whole campaign, I can choose only one type of uh, UGC Oh no, missions. no, you can totally change it. It's yeah. just what you feel in the moment. You can update it, you can, you can change how you want to filter menus. it. Yeah. The, the filtering of the missions, right? Yeah, so it, it's just like browsing on the internet, right? Like okay. you type in what you want and then you get new ones. Okay. But the great thing, right, is that you don't actually have to try to pull them down. The game will pull them down automatically. And then all you have to do to turn on the mission is walk into the mission start, Gunstar. which will be in the city, just like all of the side missions, all of the main narrative missions. So it's effortless. I mean, I am truly lazy. I do not know about you, but sometimes the action of just pulling something off the internet is, is too big of a hassle because I just want to play a game. and. The, the, the city is kind of your browser in a way. 